I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create quizzes for Canvas, and it is completely free, customizable, and super fast. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna actually not start in Canvas. Instead, I'm gonna start in ChatGPT, and you can completely do this in the free version. The free version just limits how many of these that you can do a day. Let's do just a really easy syllabus quiz. I'm gonna click the plus button, and I'm gonna add a file. And I'm gonna add this syllabus PDF right here and then open. And I'm gonna ask it to create a five question quiz. I'm not gonna give it any more information. You could certainly ask it for some more specifics, but I'm just gonna do this much and click go. And it immediately comes up with this five question quiz. And it has a variety, right? Multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, which is great. And I can type each of these now into a quiz, but even better than that, if you go down to the bottom, it says, would you like this exported as a QTI file or reformatted for new quizzes? Now I've tried the reformatted for new quizzes. It doesn't work for me. It's possible that ChatGPT learns about it tomorrow and it works tomorrow, but it didn't work for me. So we're gonna stick with the QTI file. So I'm just gonna say yes, please, as a QTI file, which is one of the import types that Canvas allows. So let's just ask it for this. Now this will take several minutes, depending on how many questions you are converting. Okay, it's all done and ready to download. The rest of this is so easy. I'm just gonna download it. It lives now in my download tray, but also of course on my computer. Now we're gonna go over to Canvas. So let's go ahead and import this into our course. Over here on the right hand side, I've got this import existing content. I am gonna click that. You can see I've been playing around with this. Under select content type, I'm gonna expand this and scroll down until I see that qti.zip file. Let's click on this. Now mine lives up here in my downloads, so I can go ahead and grab it and then drop it in here. Or I could have chosen a file and then got it from my browser, let's do that. And then it lives right here and then open. Um, select a question bank. I just want it to go into its own new question bank. I'm gonna give this a name, but I'm just gonna warn you that sometimes Canvas doesn't actually call it this, even though I ask it super nice. Um, I'm not gonna convert it to new quizzes just because I found that this doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you workaround. Let's add that to our import queue. Okay, it is all done. If I go to quizzes now, it's gonna show up for me as a question bank. And to get to those question banks, I can click on the three dots here, manage question banks. Sometimes it goofs up the name. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm really paying attention to the date and time. And mine was July 31st at 12. Okay, so this is me right here. So I'm gonna click on that syllabus review. This is my test bank. And I've got all of my questions here. I can create a quiz from this. So let's go ahead and go back to quizzes and create a quiz. And then I'm gonna show you how to convert it to a new quiz, so easy. So I'm gonna add a quiz. I wanna do a classic quiz first, submit. And this is gonna be syllabus quiz. I'm not gonna worry about the instructions and all of that for now. I'm gonna hit save and then let's edit the questions. Edit, questions. I wanna find those questions and I am looking for that question bank. There it is, syllabus review. I'm gonna select all and then scrolling down, I am going to add those to my quiz. Okay, so I'm just gonna click save. You could of course go through and edit, which you probably should do. I didn't do that. But I also wanna show you how to migrate this one. If I go back into quizzes following my breadcrumb trail here, I can click on quizzes to get back there. Here is my syllabus quiz. Notice it's outlined as a rocket ship, which means it's in the classic quizzes engine right now. To get it to the new quiz format, all I need to do is to click on the three dots and to click on migrate, and it's gonna put this into the new quiz. It's already done, and here is my quiz as a new quiz. Click on build. I can preview it from here. 
and I've got that syllabus quiz with all of my new quiz tools. I'd love to know how you use AI in your course. Leave those comments down below.